four days, we're back and we're playing Dredge. We're just gonna have some fishing. Nothing weird's gonna happen. Hey, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Shaddy plays. I remember what happened the last time we played this. We got attacked by a, a, an eel under the water and I got scared and I said, that's enough for today. <laughs> I do recall that. Now I have four four things I can upgrade, but I, or four research parts, but I don't want to research them yet because I don't know what we're going to need next. The next thing I was going to do was find a way to get a light. I recall that. Let me go look at my, um, my quest markers. Catch rare fish, find the family crest in Gale Cliffs, and of course deliver rotting conger eel, which requires fishing at night, and... Creature took the family crest into the cliffs at Gale Cliffs. <laughs> Must find the old family crest. Some creature took it into the cliffs. Where the hell are the Gale Cliffs? I'm going to assume that it's this or this. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, it's kind of, it's dredge if you haven't, um, and I know like I'm <sighs> barking up the wrong tree here, okay? But, um... You probably watch somebody play this game in its entirety in one day on the weekend and then like simultaneously complain about how they have like work, no work-life balance in the next breath. But if you're not familiar with what Dredge is going on, it's just like it's a vibe. You fish and the fishing is fun. Um, but then also, thank you so much, a new wreck fish. Um, you also, there, man, let me just put it this way. You ever hear of um, the unpronounceable horrors that live uh, beneath the North Pole? You ever hear of um, treasures in Antarctica that are in indescribable colors? There might, yeah, yeah, there might be a little bit of that going on as well. There might be a little bit of like, uh, shall we say, like some horrors that shall not be named or whatever. Like mountains that are adjacent to madness. I need to get a I need to get a bomb and blow this up, I think. One thing I'm definitely in danger of um, when I play this game is just fishing. But we don't, you know, I think that's part of the interesting thing with the with dredge is that you make your own pace. It's like if you want to rush down quests, then go ahead and rush down quests and then you can get back to grinding League of Legends. And if you want to, you know, just if you're having fun with the fishing, do some fishing, man. And right now, I'm having fun with some fishing. We'll do the fishing. We'll fill some gaps in our inventory. I mean, at the end of the day, games are, uh, they're toys to be played with. Anyone tells you you're playing with your toy wrong, you'd be like, what are you, five years old? Get a life, bozo. Okay, it's already 4 p.m. You hear that? It's just thunder. That's no big deal. Have you ever fished IRL? I'm happy to report that uh, I have. I have fished IRL. As a, as a child, my grandpa was a fisherman. I mean, well, he, he was a hobbyist. Um, ooh, diamond rings. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, oh! That's going to set us back. <laughs> Look at that, though. A silver trinket. Um, his name was not John the Fisherman. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, see, I see your point, though. Um, whispers in the Deep or whatever. I'm going to be like so afflicted with panic that it, I'm, I'm going to be eaten by um, a, a large fish. I got some problems, guys. Just dodge it. <laughs> we almost made it. All right, if you do me a favor, can you just have me dock over here? Mm, I'm gonna go to the floating dock real quick. I'm gonna go to the shipyard real quick. Any chance you can give me some repairs? You look tired. If you don't get some sleep, you'll start seeing things. No kidding. How about that? 
Everything's repaired, though. Uh, so yeah, I've been fishing. I, I probably from I would say from age like three to fourteen, I went fishing. Maybe like four or five times a year. As a kid, I think fishing's kind of wasted on you as a kid. Or at least it was wasted on me. I guess I can't speak for everybody. Like, your attention span is like... A, a, as like a little kid, you're not that stressed out. You're also not that patient. And like, your ass has no appreciation for serenity. You know? Like, it... No, no kid is ever like, oh, like I'm five years old. You know what I'd really love to do right now is just sit in a chair. Go into a room of five-year-olds. They're all going like, ah, ah, like it's just like they can't contain themselves. Now, I think I would really appreciate fishing. If I didn't catch any fish, like if I went outside and, and we were there for eight hours, I didn't catch any fish. I was just sitting in a boat with like someone whose company I enjoyed just casting out and, and reeling in, I think I, I think I would enjoy it. Life moves at a slower pace now. Reeling in the chemicals. Um, I should just pick this up. Thank you. A legendary <laughs> Lovecraftian crab. Oh. Crab pots can be quite profitable. So true. I mean, I, I'm, I'm making good money here. Don't get me wrong. Let me get my other crab pot real quick. while we're here. Yeah, same with hiking. I mean, literally, let, let me... At least I didn't take a hit point. Let me tell you, like, um, essentially how my weekend went. Saturday, woke up. Of course, we had the Powhatan ride. Ate some breakfast. Took the baby out in the morning. Bought some macarons. Went to the library for story time. Went to a playground for, like, a while. Walked home. Had a good time. Uh, ate some lunch, took the baby out for a nap. She woke up early from her nap. We went back to the playground, took her home, watched Toy Story 4 on the couch. She watched like half of it and then like, well, like 50% of the time she was watching, 50% of the time she was like running around screaming. Um, and then basically like almost exactly the same thing yesterday. Except we, we went to Hanam grocery store, ate some lunch, uh, ran some errands, went to the playground, watched Toy Story 4. She doesn't want it. We watched Toy Story 3. She does not like Toy Story 3. Toy Story 4, she's all about. Anytime I ask her what she wants to watch, she she only says Toy Story 4 now. It's, she's finally hit the phase where like she watches movies, but she watches just the same movie over and over. She has the correct opinion? What do you do? Toy Story 4 is fine. But like Toy Story 3 is is amazing. 1, 2, and 3 are, are goaded movies. They're both mid? They're literally made for kids, so like... If you're comparing this shit to, like, Bo is Afraid, obviously, like, as a 22-year-old Doomer, you're gonna love Bo is Afraid more than Toy Story 4. Keep, keep Toy Story 4's name out of your mouth, okay? Mm. Okay, let me... I'm gonna repair all yet again. I'm gonna drop my crab pots down here. <laughs> Snow Koyan is Kotsi. So true, so true. <clears throat> yeah, they made a Toy Story 4. It came out uh, two years ago. I know it must be it must be pre-pandemic. I mean, if you want to take issue with something, take issue with Lightyear, man. Don't take issue with me. Don't take issue with Toy Story 4. Take issue with Lightyear. Anyone that saw Lightyear in theaters, like you're on notice as far as I'm concerned. 
please let me <laughs> you know what let's find let's find the conger eel today they're in the center of gale cliffs bro what the hell is what the hell is gale oh it's this the thing that says gale cliffs all right okay fair enough fair enough in that case just you know rest me until nighttime Okay, I'm ready. Put, put this bolt of cloth in my storage. Turn on the light. I regret to inform you the light is turned on. I'm not happy about it either. Is he still doing Peloton updates still? No, I'm moving that shit over to my fansly. I was thinking about it today in the pre-show. So many people were like, oh, I'm so excited for the Peloton update today. Then, like, one guy was like, um, how is he late every day when his bike doesn't even move? And I said, you know what? That shit's for, like, the four chatters that I've got on Peloton. I'm sorry, dude. You, you, you lost your... Maybe you don't care. Your ship is dashed to pieces. Load last save. All right, let's do that. You, you, you lost your chance. I'm like, why am I bringing up the Peloton every day? I mean, it's a little self-serving. I'll, I'll admit I'm bringing it up for like fitness updates. Maybe some people are interested. Maybe some people aren't. But then uh, at the same time, every time I bring it up, we just end up getting in like an argument about like, well, why not just buy like a real bike? And then I explain myself and they're like, I wasn't listening. So I'm like, no, this, you, we don't need to talk about it. That can, that can just be private for me and the... And the four chatters that have got me on Peloton. You got your wish. Holy cow. A, a research part. Why have I been saving every update for months? You, you, I mean, you got enough to make a video at that point then. Don't fucking kill me. I'm leaving. Okay, your ass, you, you win. I'm not gonna steal your fucking eels, okay? Bro, get out of here. I need to catch some eels. Ow! I need to catch some eels, dude. Okay, rest me, I suppose. Rest me until the day starts. My ass wants to get some eels. <laughs> Maybe today, instead of doing the eels, we'll do the other quest. Find the family crest in Gale Cliffs. Apparently some creature took it into the cliffs. Do I have to kill the fucking eel to get the... The thing? Do I have to kill the eel? Is there something fishable in here? There's definitely a pool in here. I've got a very positive support system on the Peloton right now. I have one follower. Reed, are you here? Stand up and take a bow. I have one follower who uh, every day they do like an insane run. They'll run like um, for 90 minutes or something like that at, at a five minutes per kilometer pace. And then I, I know how it is because there's also like there's like a, there's fast days and then there's long runs. I, it's polarized training like um, like cycling. And then whenever I see that they've done a, uh, a workout, I give them a high five. Whenever they see that I've done a workout, they give me a high five. And we just got a little cross uh, high five pollination going on there. That's about the, the maximum amount of social networking that I want from a social media app at this stage in my life. I do not think Peloton should add like a boo. <laughs> Although it would be funny. But you could only boo if somebody hasn't worked out in two days. 
Like you can't, if somebody did a workout and you didn't like their output, you can't be like boo. But if somebody hasn't worked out in two days, you can send a push notification to their phone that's like, get on the bike, dummy. Oh, it's nighttime? I'm going crazy? Well, my ship has been dashed to pieces, I'm sure. Bro, fuck off. <laughs> Get out of here. I hate this guy. It's not, it's not even dusk yet! Oh, you're right. Haste. I forgot about haste. Zoom! Yet again, I find myself back here, huh? Send this to storage, please. And then... Take me to, not the floating dock. Take me to the shipyard. Patch me up, please. 60 bucks, no big deal. Buy my fish. So I return to town. Go to the shipyard. Re it's my bad. Return to town, go to the fish market. It's completely different. Um, sell my fish for $20. Let me look at something quick. Let me look at my research. I guess uh, the problem is I, I can't research. Oh, I have to research this first. I thought I did. That's, that's totally my bad. Improved outboard engine makes you faster. Refined outboard engine makes you a lot faster. Twin prop engine makes you a lot faster but takes up one extra space. The problem that I have is that we also need to greatly upgrade our boat first. Our boat needs to have more engine space. Because at present, we only have... Oh no, we can fit one engine. But it would barely be faster than the two that we've got combined right now. So... I can do this. One wood... Two wood, one metal, or one wood, two metal. Let me look at my storage real quick. I mean, we got way more than enough. Let me, let me get three wood, three metal. How does that strike you? Oh, we don't have the space for it, okay. Take me back to the, the floating dock. Am I crazy? Are these not metal scraps? Do I not have $50? I do. I just have to place them in. Okay. Rotate me, please. Excuse me. Rotate me, please. Okay. We have one more light space. Let me drop a wood in here. They're going to go like this. Okay, so we get two of the... L-shaped ones. I kind of don't miss Brotato. Listen, I'm not like a huge Brotato stan. The game, that is. Like, why... Um, what what happened that Brotato is catching a stray in the middle of Dredge here? We didn't... It didn't do anything. It's just like out of nowhere you were thinking of, you're like, hmm, I forgot how much I fucking hated Brotato. Like, that's psychotic. <laughs> you're, just, you're just being a hater. On a Monday. A hater on a Monday? On a, on a Wednesday, I could understand. But on a Monday, holy cow. Okay, now, that we've done good stuff. We might be a little bit cash poor right now. You're, you should be rest, rested and refreshed if you're working the Monday to Friday 9 to 5. Monday is like... I wouldn't say Monday is a hateful day. I would say like... I... Well, maybe it depends on your job. For me personally, Monday you should come back rested and refreshed. It's the freshest day you've ever got. It's like taking two days off and then doing a 30-minute pop-punk ride. Like your legs should be moving real quick. Tuesday is like... 
I can't believe I gotta do four more days of this fucking shit. Fuck. Ugh. And then, like, Friday is definitely like, oh, this is, like, the last day. So you feel good on, on Friday. Or you're starting to feel good. You're on the upslope. It's like the diff... Monday is, like, the autumn, and it's warm, but it's getting cold, so it feels colder. And then Friday's, like, the spring. It's like they're the same temperature, but it feels different on the ascent versus the descent. I don't have the foresight to recharge over the weekend. I mean, that sounds like a personal... That's not Monday's fault. Why are you taking that shit out on Monday? If your ass is going through the ringer mentally and spiritually from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, then Friday night to Sunday night, your ass is drinking like, you know, 12 double IPAs and waking up in the morning or like at 1 p.m. being like, oh, I feel like shit. And then doing it again the next night, and waking up and be like, I feel like shit. Then being like, oh, I hate Monday so much. You did it. You did it to yourself, man. You can have like a couple, and then go for a hike or something like that. It's probably even better that way. Okay, sorry. It's 8 p.m. I need to see if I can afford any of this new stuff. We haven't even unlocked the new stuff yet. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My um. My focus is, is not where it needs to be. Hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. One space costs five research parts. I think I only have four. But if I get a fifth one, this is 9.5 knots per space. I mean, we could travel insanely fast. Let's spend them right now. I know we're not going to have quite enough, but if we find another... Oh, we... Oh. <laughs> okay, take me to the, the shipyard again. And I would, I would love to purchase a big light. I cannot afford it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just sleep and we'll go fishing then. We'll go fishing tomorrow, farm up some cash. What's your thoughts on the start of the week being Sunday versus the start of week being Monday? I would say it depends on your... I mean, it's a matter of, of personal preference, I suppose. I My model for the start of the week is that it's Monday. I've just always thought... It, I mean, Monday... It seems like the start of something should be a switch from one mode to another. And the weekend switching into the week seems like a, like a natural starting point for me. Also, I know this is not like mentally or uh, realistically, it makes no difference, but mentally it makes a difference. A day off, five days on, a day off, even though you get another day off right after that at the start of the next week, that seems like worse than five days on, two days off. Even though it's the, exactly the same and it's in exactly the same order, I think it's just like the difference, like if you worked, <laughs> if you've ever worked like a job that you fucking hate that sucks, you start doing math where you're like, it's, it's copium math. You work nine to five, that's eight hours. Every hour is 12% of your workday. Every half hour is 6% of your workday. So like the first half hour that you're there, you go get a cup of coffee, you have your all hands meeting or whatever in the morning, your daily stand up, and you're like, holy shit. I only got 94% of my day left. But would you say I've got 94% left? That's like 100%. Or would you say, wow, I didn't do anything and I'm already 6% done. Then, once you cross like a certain mental threshold, you start to think about it in the inverted term. Like instead of thinking about, oh, I've done 70% of my day, you go, holy cow, 30% is left and every second it's getting even it's getting even less that's like the mental model for how i look at my week too yeah that was pretty much teaching <laughs> that was that was teaching for me although honestly the time f flies when you're teaching it's just like it also sucks or sucked for me i should say okay today we're just we're fishing and we're placing our our crab pots back out there, that's right.
When I was a lifeguard, we smoked so much weed to pass the time. I'm gonna go ahead and say, and this might not be like a popular... Oh, I didn't sell my fucking crabs, bro. I'm gonna say not based. Um, I know that might not be super popular. Um, but like, people's lives are on the line. <laughs> it's... I don't think it means that you like can't, uh, you know, lifeguard with some degree of skill. I mean, you're probably, you baked out of your mind, you're probably a better swimmer than me. I'm an okay swimmer, but like, you know, I'm, no, I'm not lifeguard material. Hey, CZ Rose, thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. So true. My lifeguard is too cooked to save me from the current rip. Only do that if you check roller coasters for safety. For safety, excuse me. I, I, I told that story a in confidence. It's not me. The friend of mine who worked as the roller coaster. It's not roller coaster. It's like rides. That doesn't mean you can't be killed or have like a limb ripped off. But there is like is more than a semantic difference. Like this was not like. He was not neglecting to monitor the safety of like Superman, Man of Steel that goes like you know, 75 miles an hour and has a 89 degree drop in the middle. Like, this shit was like the scrambler. That being said, if a couple of bolts came off the scrambler, your ass is probably cooked. So maybe it's... It is a semantic difference now that I think about it. And at no point did I say it was okay. What makes it funny is that it's not okay. If it was okay, it wouldn't even be a story worth telling. It would just be my friend went to his job and did his job. Wow, incredible. It's not right, but it's... I know that song, Whitney Houston. That's a Cody Rigsby classic. I'm gonna make it anyway. Pack your bags up and leave something you're never coming back to me. I know that one. Mm. Hang on, do you have research parts? Oh! Sam Yo passes you the booth. What do you do? I hit that shit for sure. No doubt about it. Okay, we have unlocked the jet drive engine. How much money do I have? 115. We're gonna need the another day of farming, and then we can maybe get our engine set up. It's Cody Rigsby, a Peloton superstar. He's featured in all the ads. He's definitely. When you're on a ride, you can get an idea of how many people have taken the ride. I take some rides with like. Uh, there's German instructors, but like a third of their rides are in English. Those ones might have like you know a few thousand people have taken them. Cody Rigsby rides are like, like 60,000 people have taken every single one of them. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Like a Soul Decision song. There's no fish. There's no fish. Eel me? No, today, to... Today we're, we're farming up, then we're getting a bunch of engines. Isaac Meta feels like a fever dream, it never happened. I assure you, uh, it happened. My ass did not spend 11 years recording Isaac episodes with no chat to banter off of. Uh, to just be told after like a year and a half of not doing them that it didn't happen. Your ass needs to work on your long-term memory. I paid my damn dues. <laughs> also, I would still be playing... People aren't ready for this conversation. I would still be fucking playing Isaac right now if it weren't for two things. One thing was that people stopped watching it. Another thing is that fucking... The, the game's balance is all messed up, man. 
And a bunch of, they, there was subtraction via addition. It's your starter build for the new Path of Exile League. I would say this um, this league, you got to go heavy into lightning. I don't know if you watched the developer's diary. It just came out seven seconds ago on YouTube. I've already watched it twice. Um, lightning magic has been buffed. It's a pretty, it's the biggest buff they've ever, hello. It's the biggest buff they've ever done in uh, Path of Exile history. They've given it a 0.75% DPS increase. Um, I'm a little worried that it's going to tip the balance completely on its head. Like, it's going to reinvent the meta completely, but... I think for now, you've got to take advantage of it. Like, if they give that to you, you got to take it. I'm at the fish market. So I was trying to come up with like a... I'm gonna catch some fish. Only got 20 lures in my pocket. I, I, I'm fishing, hunting for a conger eel. This is freaking... What's the word I'm looking for? Unsettling. Something like that. I saw a broken salmon. I caught a broken salmon. Incredibly bad. I mean, I'm doing my best. <laughs> could only do. I could only work with what I'm given with. Given with. Given. I can only work with what I'm given. Sounds right. Sounds more. Ooh, a trophy fish. Dude, they fit so nicely. Look at this. And then just bring me back. Let me guess, 10% discount? 10% increased sell prices, 10% reduced buy prices. That's a 20 point credit spread. We're going big short mode. You hear that? Costco type returns. Dude, I had like a crisis on Sunday. I'm like such a perfect Costco shopper that like on Sunday, I ran out of jerky. I ran out of blueberries. I ran out of raspberries. I ran out of goldfish. I, I'm trying to think, but like literally everything that I get at Costco it all ran out on the same day, but it was one day early. So yesterday I had, uh, I mean, I, I woke, I still had cereal. I've been eating a lot of cereal lately. How'd you survive? I bought, um, I, I went to the general store and I bought some goldfish. <laughs> just just a little bit of methadone goldfish to get me through the day. And then I'm going to go to Costco tonight. And then it's just like supermarket sweep. I are sweep. I've got the whole setup there. I've got I've got the grocery list all ready to go. Yeah, we can at least sell while we do this. Picked a bad Monday to go. I mean, the thing with Costco, like, it's always busy. I don't think... I get that it's, like, Easter this weekend. I'm sure Thursday will be, like, all fucked up, but... It's always busy. If you go on Saturday, you're like, it's busy. If you go on uh, Tuesday afternoon, it's busy. If you go right when it opens, maybe because the average person shopping is, like, over the age of 70, you might be able to just, uh, like, sprint to the front, and then you could get it done a little faster, but... I think it's just one of those grocery stores where you got to like there's stores where you're like, I need two things. I go in and get out. And then there's stores where you're like, I'm going to go through every aisle and it's going to take as long as it takes. And Costco is one of those. Mm. 
Do you find yourself trying to speed run Costco and getting stuck behind people who are using their shopping cart like a Ford F-150? No, actually, what I get annoyed by is the people trying to speed run Costco. It doesn't annoy me that you're not spending time in like my favorite store. What, what annoys me is that the aisles are like wide enough for two carts to make it through, one in each direction, but then your ass is like, no, I'm more important. So you try to squeeze your cart into the space between the two lanes. You're like, oh, I can't fucking wait 30 seconds to get to the croissants. I got to get there in 15 seconds instead. And you're like bumping into people and causing the other lane to have to like wait for you because you're mama's special boy. Like, just follow the flow of traffic when you get to the croissant exit, signal and shoulder check, and then turn. And then park your card safely in a place where, like, people aren't going to bump into it. We literally can't go any faster. The person in front of me is going as fast as I'm going. The person behind me is going as fast as I'm going. People walk so slow I can't do it. You literally can. You have, like, a modicum of self-control. It'll serve you well in so many different avenues of your life, not just in Costco. If you want to get into and out of a store quickly, don't go to Costco. It's, it's crowded. You know, people, uh, everybody's got carts. They're swinging in all directions. Go to a different grocery store, and then, you know, you can zip in and zip out. I need to repair it. <laughs> Sorry, I should really stop getting... Every time I go back here, I get sidetracked. And I come back here every five seconds. This is why you Instacart. You gotta... And I'm telling you this from a place of... of I mean, maybe it's condescending, but I consider it to be like a place of... of you not know, love, but I think it's good advice. You got to stop trying to solve everything. Not everything in life is like, you know, top 10 life hacks that you need for Costco. Here's a former Costco engineer gives you the perfect way to shop. You just fucking say, I'm going to go to the grocery store at seven. And you walk into the grocery store and you get the shit that you need and you get out when you're done. You don't have to, not everything is... You know, what's the most efficient way for me to do X and Y? Why? So you can get home and play, like, one more game of League of Legends? Stack up, like, 15 more games of League of Legends a, a, a week or something like that? Like, it's not adding any value to your life either way. You're just... I'm not saying it takes away from it. I'm just saying, like, you know, just stop and smell the roses a little bit. 